Well, hello. I am talking to you on January 11, 2008. And I decided it had been a long time since I'd done a pointing the camera at myself video and thought I would do it again. And also show you what I look like lately, which is um, bearded. Whew. Awesome. Relatively disheveled. Ooh. and up in the middle of the night it's 4.12 a.m. but it's all good because I don't have to work well I don't have to teach any more classes for like six weeks because the first term is over all I have to do is create all these exams let's see if you can see this stack of exams oh many of them but that's alright that's not too bad and um, then figure out what to do Hang around till my dad gets here, get to Hong Kong on February 4th, hang out with him, and then go right on from there. And next term doesn't start until like February 25th or something, at least for us. So, let's see. So I wanted to think about what I've learned or what I think or what's gone on so far. And one thing is... Well, I was just watching some video of me back in, when I was in Argentina in 2005, and I was realizing that um, I was remembering that I'm I'm really into going to new places, and this place was new when I first got here. The country was new to me. Now, not so much. This city, this area, it's now a little bit old hat, and. Um, that's yet another reason among many that I've been thinking that um, probably this will be the my one year in China and then on to other adventures. Um, then again, there are a lot of things to be said for, for being here, um, just from a personal um, standard of living, quality of life standpoint. It's very safe. Um, it's it's not clean, but one thing that I was realizing when I was looking at Argentina videos is they don't really have graffiti here. There's a lot of sort of petty crime that probably gets, um, um, what's the word, kept from happening. So, um, and boy, you know, as a foreigner here, you sure get a good deal. Um, but at the same time, I'm pretty much interchangeable, I've probably said this on the blog already, but I'm pretty much interchangeable with any other schmo. And it probably isn't a good place for me to really make much of a huge difference. Although I think, you know, when I talk to individual students and just chat with them and just kind of make those individual connections, maybe there's something there. But So, um, I don't know. Oh. That's interesting. I've, I've been lighting this video with, with my laptop screen. I did not realize that, so I had to turn off the screensaver. Anyway, um, I don't want to go on too long, but let me think if there's other stuff I want to mention. So, I don't know. I, I, I think that um, even though it's, it's scary and, and insecure and, um, boy, there's a lot of screwed up things in my own country, I think that I need to go back there at least for some period of time. Um, maybe, right now I'm thinking, maybe try my luck at uh, starting, a, starting a business or something like that. Try and make my way, live very cheaply, and um, see how it goes. And then, well, if it doesn't go well, I can always come back here or go to another country. Korea is a good place to go if you just want to make money out the wazoo that's that's a pretty good place and um, or maybe go to a Spanish speaking country get my Spanish back up to snuff and I sure like Argentina if there's a way I could go back to Argentina I would sure do that as well so that's what's on my mind what else can I tell you um Mm. I think I mentioned before I miss cats. 
I, mean, I think some people have cats here, but obviously they're in people's homes and uh, haven't been to a lot of people's homes. You know, usually if you go to people's homes, then they'll try and feed you. And if they try and feed you, they'll probably feed me, try and feed me something that I don't really want to eat. And I don't really want to refuse them and cause them to lose face or whatever. So, mm, I can't think of anything else right now. I think let's just go with this and then maybe I'll update later. So, goodbye for now.